Today we're going to be multiplying two brackets together, but we're looking at brackets which have three terms in them. So we're going to start with this one here. I've got x plus 5 in the first bracket. And we're multiplying by x squared minus 2x minus 4. Exactly the same principles apply when you've got bigger brackets. We just need to be systematic. So we're first going to take the x and we're going to multiply everything in that second bracket by x. Then we're going to take the 5 and we're going to multiply everything by the 5. So we start with x times x squared will give us x cubed and then we've got x times negative 2x so I've got a positive x multiplied by a negative 2x so I'm going to have a negative answer so I'll put that in first and then x times 2x is 2x squared and then I'm multiplying the x by the negative 4 so I've got a positive x and negative 4 I multiply them together, I'll have a negative 4x. And now we're taking the 5 and we're going to multiply each term by the 5. So 5 times 5x is going to give me the positive 5x squared. 5 this time multiplied by the negative 2x, so positive times negative, I'm going to have a negative answer. 5 times 2x, 5 times 2 is 10, and times by x gives me 10x. And then I've got the positive 5 multiplied by the negative 4. So a positive times a negative is going to give me a negative answer, and 5 times 4 is 20. And so now I'm going to gather together the like terms. Okay, so x cubed, well we've just got one of them, the x squared, and let's just remember here to be careful about our negatives, I've got a negative 2x squared there and a plus 5x squared there, so I'm going to start at negative 2 and I'm going to add on 5 and that will give me positive 3, so I've got plus 3x squared and then for the x's, I've got negative 4x, take away another 10x. So I'm starting at negative 4 on the number line, and I'm taking away 10, which will give me negative 14x. And then I've also got the minus 20. And that's us. Okay, let's do one more. So I've got 4x minus 3. And I want to multiply it by 5x squared plus 3x plus 8. So I'm going to start with the 4x and multiply everything by the 4x. So 4x times 5x squared is positive times positive, so the answer is positive. Then I'm going to do numbers first. So 4 times 5 is 20. And we're multiplying by x times x squared, which is going to give us x cubed. And then I've got 4x multiplied by plus 3x. So positive times positive, I'm going to add a positive answer. So I'm writing the plus sign in straight away. 4x times 3x. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. And x times x is x squared. And then I've got 4x multiplied by a positive 8. So positive times positive. It's going to be a plus. 4 times 8 is 32. And I'm only multiplying by the 1x. So it's 32x. And now I'm going to 
going to take the three, remembering that's a negative three. And I'm going to multiply by that by each term. So negative three times positive five x squared, negative times positive, it's going to be negative. Three times five x squared, three times five is 15, times by the x squared. Negative 3 times 3x, negative times positive, it's going to be negative. 3 times 3x is 9x. Negative 3 times positive 8 is a negative times positive. So it's going to be a negative answer. And 3 times 8 is 24. And now I'm simplifying. 20x cubed and I've got 12x squared so I'm starting at 12 and I'm taking away 15 so starting at positive 12 and taking away 15 I'll get negative 3x squared And for x's, I'm starting at plus 32, positive 32, and I'm taking away 9. Which gives me plus 23x. And then I've got the take away 24. Okay, I hope this helps with exercise 4.